Hello folks, good morning everyone. Uh, we've got the last day of our, oh the last day, last day of camping uh, because tomorrow it will be raining and we are uh, changing the place from that one, from the tents to Airbnb. Yeah, we are packing today and we are going close to Pilthwell somewhere there and hopefully it will be fine. We had a coffee, look, see? Here is Quasi Blazon Motto channel, Polish YouTube channel. And here is Lucas and Peter, and bikes are here. Okay, guys, see you later. So it is already later, it's uncle speaking and right now we packed our tents and all that stuff and we are going to a different place. And reason for that is not necessarily that it will be raining today but we don't want to get wet tomorrow morning and we don't want to pack the tents and all that stuff in the rain, wet, damp and all that nonsense, you know what I mean. So right now we are changing the place and we are going through some beautiful places. So stay with us and you will see what spots we will visit. say that we will visit some lovely spots? Yeah, I think I did. And right now we are heading towards one. We are on the route from Tregaron towards the Lindbrianne. And on the route there, there is something special. It's on the left right now and it's called the remote phone box. Yes, that's right. And as you can see right now, Peter on his cruiser was just lagging behind. And it's not cruiser's fault. Obviously the road is not wide enough, right? Anyways, me, Lucas and Peter, we've already been here. Anyways, me, Lucas and Peter, we've already been here, but we wanted to show the place to Blaze, who supposedly haven't been here yet. But actually, it looks like he was on the way to our camping site. So, well, surprise was rather poor. So what could we do? After just one picture, we jumped on the horses, not that type of horses, and off we go. it will be beautiful so we decided to take the picture because it was so wonderful yeah but one shot is enough let's go to another spot which is not that far away really in the meantime we are attacked by some bunch of bikers bloody hell what's going on here Jokes aside, but it would be nice of you if you wouldn't cut the corners as badly. If you are watching that, guys.
talerz. Dywa! Czyli dzień dywania! Co pan ma do powiedzenia? Widzę nic. So, it was cloudy, it was windy, but it was marvelous. But we are going to the next spot, which will be the Devil's Staircase. And you know what? I love the Devil's Staircase, and I love the valley which is following. Absolutely, absolutely brilliant places. I've visited many times, but I still love them. Forwards then! And as we arrive at the Devil's Staircase, one interesting thing. Let's take a look how you take a corner on a regular motorcycle and how you do that on a cruiser. And that's why I'm not riding cruisers anymore. Well, I don't think it's the best idea on this type of roads. But maybe I'm wrong. Who knows? Onwards. Nie sapaj. Just look at that. My old car. I haven't seen one for many, many years. And in a good condition. Lovely. My version was called Opel Kadett, not Vauxhall Astra. It was different car. Well, anyways. Przyjechaliśmy się napić kawki. Myśleliśmy, że będzie fajnie. A tutaj tymczasem boimy się o życie, bo zobaczcie, co tam się dzieje. Po prostu gang dzikich wieprzy przyjechał. I kurde, no i co teraz zrobić? Boisz się? Nie za nic. Ja się boję. A ty się boisz? I upieczemy świnie. Tak, jest dużo świn. Nie no, żarty na bok. Silna grupa z Hogu pod wezwaniem przyjechała. Tak. Ale średnia wieku to jest 72. Tak, tak, nie wiem. Pod wezwaniem z góry i frenzy. Ja mam GS, a mam podobno GS, że tylko po kawiarniach nie wziąłem. To prawda. I po autostradzie. Ja też mam częściowo gs Mi, Ale miejskiego, to jeszcze bardziej po kawiarniach jeżdżę. Yeah, it's always good to have a proper laugh at the fellow bikers. Right? If you just include yourself. Otherwise, it could be rude. Anyways, it looks like we've got another bike in a group. See? Three at the back and one in front. Which is five. Weird, right? That's because we've got another friend who is joining us for the evening. And actually, we are prepared for the evening because we've got beer, we've got chips and beer. So we will therefore enjoy the evening, but right now we are enjoying the bands because we still got some lovely corners to do. Those 
suspense were so much fun that our group actually spread a bit. Because I had to wait for the group. Because we were turning. Anyway, Lucas was so enjoying the pens that he didn't realize that the road surface changed. Ooh, close call. Let's take a look again. Yeah, that was close. And remember guys, don't even think that you can keep your bike straight with your legs. You can only break it. Keep your legs on your foot pegs until you are down. But anyway, never mind such nonsense. Let's just go. But let's try to avoid mud, just in case. Dzień dobry. Dzień dobry. Czego masz w pasty? Yy, czas. Yy, Bardzo na... miłe spotkanko. Nie znam ludzi, ale, ale są w porządku. Chodzą. Już mnie znasz. <laughs> and now Peter was telling the story how in his job something was smelly. And it smelled and smelled and smelled and all of a sudden the IT guy came in and there was a mouse fried in a printer. <laughs> With the maggots. <laughs> Bit terrible, but hey, nice story. Awesome, but eventually he finished. But look, the bikes were there, the guys are drinking beer here, but here is Boazze. And he's got a real, real talent. He can cook. I mean, he's brilliant chef. Look, he's got water here. And he's got frying pan. <laughs> so short summary, he's got frying pan, water and two hands. So what have he prepared? Look at that. Ta-da! Grzyby. Między sąsiedni naszodował nam grzybów. Więc teraz Piotruś spróbuje jako pierwszy. Prosimy bardzo. No. To jest, to jest. Dziękujemy pani kolego. But after that, everything else required heavy censorship. You know why. And then, all of a sudden, in the morning. Dzień dobry panu. Pada deszcz w zasadzie, w zasadzie jest mokro, syfiaści i ponuro. Pokażę wam za oknem jak to wygląda. Nie, no, nie no, za no. dobrze. So only Blaze has got dry bike and the rest will have wet asses. That's what it is. Po wczorajszej bardzo udanej imprezie, bardzo udanym wieczorze, mamy tutaj niezły burdel w tym archeo. No i kończymy, kończymy tą imprezę. Jakieś krótkie podsumowanie? Co pan powie, panie Błażeju? Wyjazd oceniam bardzo pozytywnie, bardzo mi się podobało, bardzo fajnie. Cieszę się, że przyjechałem, cieszę się, że się spotkaliśmy, poznaliśmy. Pojeździliśmy naprawdę po fajnych trasach. Nie było źle, prawda? Nie. Trochę, trochę zimno w paru momentach, ale, ale mogło być gorzej. No, bardzo przyjemnie, trzeba tak to jest. Zdecydowanie. W lepszych okolicznościach przyrody nieco. No i jedynie tylko mogę dodać, że weekend był za krótki zdecydowanie. Fajnie było. Motocykl się nie przewrócił, także jest ok. Bardzo dobrze, prawda? Nie padał też w ogóle. W ogóle, aż do tej pory. I tej wersji się trzymajmy i może tak zostanie. Kończymy ten bardzo udany wyjazd. Myślę, że było fajnie, a jak nie, to powtórzymy. Let's just take the last look around. Lovely. Absolutely brilliant. But we need to rush a bit because it looks like it wants to rain. So, you think we managed? Nah! <laughs> Bloody hell! Such a heavy rain! But after all, we are in Wales, so it needs to rain, right? Yes, it does! So, let's go back home! The only issue is that we've got almost a mile on that muddy, wet road. So, let's hope for the best! going well until Ooh, close
close enough. Let's look again. Same mistake as Lucas. <laughs> he was thinking like maybe his legs will help him. Nope. Luckily enough, nothing happened. But right now we've got some communication problem. Because Blaze was thinking we are going right, but we should go left. So we had some minor issue finding the right way. who was going to London, he said, OK, I'm going to the main road and that's about it. So he said goodbye. But we, we decided to trust Lucas. And Lucas was trusting Waze. And Waze is known of finding such a good, lovely shortcuts. Like that one. Brilliant, right? And we are back on the track. And luckily it stopped raining. Mostly. Yeah, completely. Or mostly. Yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> And finally, for the last 60 miles, the weather improved. But just before Coventry, it turned to something like that. And it started raining heavily. So we decided, let's refuel the bikes. And there is also Starbucks there. And because we are hipsters, we decided to wait it out in hipster style. On a coffee. Oh yes, brilliant weather, <laughs> but look at the bikes. <laughs> look at that. What a mess. Just look at... He, he's cheating. It's not dirty. Anyway guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed our Easter, lovely Easter trip. And if you did, obviously give me thumbs up, comment and subscribe and whatnot. You can also buy me a beer. The link is down there in the description. And you know what guys? Instead of waiting for the new videos, which are coming really soon, you can watch those two videos on the right. Cheers!